zurückbleiben. This company is responsible for most of Munich public transportation. Subway, suburban trains, buses, and even trams. You can buy one ticket and use them all pretty much to go everywhere. And for me, it's even the fastest way to go to university. Downsides, it can get crowded at rush hours or the rare occasion where Bayern Munich is having a football match. Biking is one of my favorite ways to go somewhere not too far away. You even get some exercise. Munich is a city that is mostly flat, and almost every street has a bike lane, so it's safe. However, it's weather dependent, meaning if it rains or snows, you're better off not using the bike at all. Ah, city bikes. They're good if you're not staying here a long time or if you can bring your own bike. You need to have the app and it's 8 cents per minute. The app on the other hand is not so reliable when you need to park the bike. No my telemobile is off us rent another bike so I am not paying anything. See I can rent that. So it's fine. But overall it's good. E-scooters. Alright, how much do they cost? 25 cents per minute? Okay, that's overpriced. They are fun, but I'm not using those. For cheaper than this, you can also drive for an amount per minute. You select a car, drive it, and park it almost everywhere in the city. If you're moving houses, or for example, you go to Ikea and stay there for a long time, you can use miles. There you pay by the kilometer, not time. I also forgot to tell you it's a very cheap way to try the German Autobahn. If you want to visit other places, you can either use the train or the bus. I tried both, and the train is noticeably faster and comfortable. However, if the budget's really tight, and if you have a lot of time, you can use for example the Flixbus. 